A thorny wild boar walks out from behind Lisa. Does the thorny wild boar intend to eat Lisa? In the previous episode, since they fell into the center of the earth, the characters have encountered magical weather conditions here. Lisa has also encountered different monsters. What kind of journey will they embark on here? Let's dive into today's episode analysis together. The story continues from the previous episode, where David seals the underground tunnel Tracy fell into years ago. Mary, Lisa, and David all fall into the tunnel. The nuclear power plant collapses. The Emperor Organization sends Tammy back to Tokyo. As they deal with the consequences of their public relations actions, they also monitor the increasing radiation levels worldwide. The organization remains vigilant against the appearance of monsters. In another world, David wakes up in a familiar place. He finds Mary and takes her away from the strong electrostatic zone, the magnetic field generated when the tunnel is closed. It reacts with the static electricity produced by the human body. It not only affects consciousness, but also affects the environment. The magnetic field can also cause a deadly surge of electric current. After they both reach the safe zone, David explained to Mary, he had been to the world at the center of the earth. In 1962, the Emperor Organization, with full government funding, carried out an exploration mission to the center of the earth called the Hourglass Project. Before entering the center of the earth, David gave Bernie a small knife as a memento. This exploration to the center of the earth was extremely challenging. The project utilized a gamma-ray simulator invented by scientists to attract the Earth's monster, and draw it out of the tunnel. Before the monster broke out of the tunnel, they timely shut down the simulation, allowing the exploration capsule to follow the monster. They used the monster as a passageway to the center of the Earth. They arrived at the center of the Earth. Because their understanding of the center of the Earth was incomplete, the impact force caused by the monster breaking out of the tunnel, resulted in a massive explosion of the unstable external magnetic field. This led to the failure of the project. The base outside the entrance, was instantly blown apart. David also perished in the underground tunnel. At least that's how it appeared to the outside world. At this time, Bernie, who had already become mature, lost his mother, and then he lost his uncle David as well. The government also stopped providing funding to the emperor organization. Andrew began to go crazy, solely focused on proving the existence of the monster and the center of the earth. He ultimately died in the Kong Skull Island incident in 1973, according to David's recollection. At that time, their exploration capsule was involved in a flying monster-induced terrestrial event. In the treacherous environment they found themselves in, David and the team encountered titan creatures and areas of intense static electricity. One by one, the members of the exploration team died. Afterward, David was unsure of how he managed to return. He regained consciousness in the real world. He was discovered in a forest in Japan. Subsequently, he was brought under the control of a local medical institution affiliated with the Emperor Organization. Upon awakening, David's first priority was to meet Andrew. For this purpose, he even took a hostage in an attempt to escape. The hostage currently held by David is Tammy's mother, until a man takes out the small knife which David sent out. That made David finally calm down. This man was none other than Bernie, and Bernie's appearance shocked David. For David, the failed mission has only been a matter of a few days at most. In fact, it has been 20 years since the Hourglass Project. David was confused. He lost 20 years of his life. When Bernie asked him what had happened 20 years ago, David's memory slowly unfolded. He explained that at that time, they were a group of people. After they landed smoothly, it seemed like they had arrived in another world. Unfortunately, one person fell to death. He intended to contact the control center. But at that moment, a terrifying giant creature attacked them. The others died instantly. Just as he was about to meet a similar fate, a tremendous energy suddenly appeared. He and the monster were sucked in together. When he woke up again, he realized that he had returned to the surface. After learning all of this, Bernie also told Shaw that his mother, Tracy, had died. And Andrew had also met an unfortunate end on Skull Island. Now, the three of them, only Shaw remains. And now, the frequent appearance of the monsters, may be related to their previous actions. He hopes that Shaw will not disturb these monsters anymore, and arranges him into a sanatorium. David, until the reappearance of the Titan monster, gradually awakens from the numb obsession he has had for many years. David starts to have strong feelings, breaking free from the shackles of the Empire organization. Bernie also, during the time he discovers David, meets Tammy's mother. Now, we return to the present. 
where the Empire organization has already assumed that David and the others died in the collapse. However, Tammy is not giving up. He witnessed Mary and Lisa sliding down the tunnel, and he wants to find them with his own strength. After going through so many adventures, they have become like family to Tammy. He goes to his father's studio to search for clues, but unexpectedly, he encounters his father, Bernie. When Bernie learns that Lisa may have been buried underground, he feels immense pain. He finally starts to regret leaving without saying goodbye. In fact, Bernie is also pitiful. He grew up with his mother and grandmother, and he finally had his father, Andrew, and his uncle, David. But one by one, his family members left. In Bernie's eyes, after losing his mother Tracy and his uncle David, his father went crazy studying monsters. Andrew did everything to prove that his conclusions were correct, and as a result, he sacrificed his own life. Therefore, Bernie has reluctantly taken over the legacy of the Empire organization. It can be said that he never wanted to believe in the existence of monsters. For Bernie, his ancestors pursued monsters blindly, which led to the disruption of the world's ecological balance, and they also lost their own lives, which was not worth it. It was until Andrew's file bag was salvaged, that he truly discovered the secrets of everything. He began to search for monsters, not only to prove Andrew's theory was correct, but also to find evidence that his own mother might still be alive. He went to various places to search for the traces of monsters and awaken them. The time is now 2015, and the Empire Organization's ground detection personnel discovered a signal in the underground world that was different from before. This signal had a rhythmic fluctuation, leading them to speculate that it was artificially sent, shifting the perspective back to the center of the Earth. Lisa also woke up. After quickly adapting to the environment, she tried to evade the pursuit of the wild boar monster, but at the last moment, she was saved by her grandmother, Tracy. Lisa saw Tracy emerging from the darkness. The story of this episode ends here. In this episode, everyone goes to the underground world. Tracy also confirms that she didn't die. How long has the event in the underground world been going on? And how long will the next plot continue? It makes us deeply ponder. Will they ultimately escape the danger once again? And what kind of monsters will appear in the underground world? The final episode will be updated next week. Let's look forward to it together. If you enjoy our channel, please do subscribe now tilde.